We're here at Link 2018 with Maria Rufino and we're going to talk about mesh covered stents for carotid artery disease. Uh, the main advantages of this uh, new device is the plaque coverage that they can produce in comparison to conventional devices as mm -hmm. open cell stent or closed cell stent. So the remodeling of the plaque in particular in the periprocedural time is uh, still the uh, main limit of CAS of, uh, and carotid artery stenting. So if we can use a device that can entrap uh, the plaque in a more stable way, the, all the procedure could be uh, really safer. Mm -hmm. And what mesh covered stents are available on the market now? Um, we have two uh, mm -hmm. stents already available, CMR approved on the market. It is Seaguard from Inspire MD and Road Saver stent from uh, Terumo. Uh, we are waiting for uh, one another that's coming from Gore, I hope uh, in uh, very soon, but it already is not uh, available uh, on the market. So. Okay. And what are the unique features of these different devices? Uh, they are uh, quite similar because they are all double layer, mm -hmm. but the double is obtained in different manners. So for a road saver stent, we have a, uh, a double mesh layer, so all the stent is a, a nitinol stent. Uh, for Seaguard, we have a PET coverage of an open cell nitinol, conventional nitinol stent, mm -hmm. and uh, we will see what will come from Gore as soon as possible. Okay, and I know that you presented a comparative analysis of these stents under MRI parameters. Yes. What did you find in this analysis? Well, our analysis was main direct on uh, know something more about uh, the behavior of this device. Mm -hmm. So, in uh, if uh, even if uh, there are many studies in Literon about this new device, uh, some information are still missing. So, about the plaque, the plaque activity, the relationship between different kind of plaques and uh, um, the, 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 the presence of new ischemic brain lesion mm -hmm. after the, the stenting. So we will check the, the incidence of this uh, new lesion uh, with MRI, the VUI MRI, and to compare the result of the, these uh, two devices for the first time. So uh, in a, um, we have two similar group uh, of patients, 25 for uh, each group, and we want to um, check if there is uh, any difference. Actually, there's no statistically difference between the behavior of the two devices um, talking about new ischemic brain lesion. And then our research will also focus, thank you to the university, the radiology unit of the University of Torino and uh, Dr. Faletti that joined me the protocol of this study. So the, to try to understand as better as we can uh, the characteristic of the plaque because we still think that the plaque activity is the um, most important thing to uh, know uh, could, um, which one could be the result of our procedure. Mm -hmm. And what are the next steps in the investigation of these new devices? Uh, mainly uh, what will uh, happen in the uh, in next few months, in the next few years, because uh, there are more uh, metal in uh, the carotid, so the main focus will be the patency in long term mm -hmm. of the device itself and of the um, external carotid artery as well, because we have to know if we can jeopardize the patency of this vessel that um, uh, with our procedure. So uh, we, we want to know if there is some difference in the behavior of the flow um, along the external carotid artery mm -hmm. in, with one device instead of one another. And the main goal is to evaluate the patency in the long term for what. Okay, thank you so much for thank joining you. us.